Hey guys, this is Dan, and this morning I'm going to show you how to take out a center console on a 2012 Kia Sorento. If you want to replace the stock stereo, as I have done, you're going to need to get in there, and there's a couple tricks that are going to really make your life a lot easier. So, uh, the tools that you need to get in there are really pretty simple. Uh, the first thing you need, of course, is a uh, cup of coffee. If you don't have that, you're probably not going to get very far. And then you're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. And then the last thing you're going to need is some sort of very thin blade. And I'm going to show you what that's all about here in just a couple minutes. doesn't need to be sharp. In fact, it's probably better if it's not. But it does need to be very, very thin. All right. The first thing we need to do is remove this shifter knob right here. The shifter is not held in by any screws or clips or anything like that. Uh, it just takes a little bit of brute force to take that off. Now before you try pulling up on this thing, the best thing to do is actually move the shifter knob back. If you leave it right here and you start wiggling this around, it's eventually going to come loose. And when that happens, your knuckles are going to go right into your air conditioning section right here. So the best thing to do is bring it back into neutral. Then just put a good grip on it and pull straight up. And it'll come right off. Go ahead and set that aside. The next thing you want to do is take off this trim work that goes around the shift area. And all you need to do is just put a little bit of pressure right underneath here, right where this lip is, right by the seat. You can do that on either side. Just kind of work it straight up. You'll kind of hear it click in there as those clips come loose. There you go. On this side. Straight up. And then underneath, there's going to be a small electrical clip. There's only one of them. And you can just put your finger down in there. Press the release tab. And pull that guy on out. And then you can pull that section away and put it in. Now this section right here is what takes most people, myself included, the longest amount of time to remove because there was no obvious spot here that would indicate that's where you need to pry to get this thing to come loose and there was no screws exposed or clips exposed or anything like that there's a clip right inside here right about that point and then there's another one right it's right around this area right here and then there's a corresponding one on the other side here and here so the best way to go about this is down here on like on the left hand side just use your thumb and kind of brace your hand against the console here and then just squeeze and what you're trying to do is you're just trying to expose the thinnest of little spaces right along this side right here you don't want to just jam the knife straight in because you're going to mess up your trim work here and kind of shred it so just kind of pull that as far over as you can and see if you can work that blade in there and it should kind of just slide in. I got mine a little too high there. And take your time. Don't rush this part. Okay, kind of just working it in. And then put pressure this way against the knife. I'm pushing out like that. So I'm actually pushing the clip in this direction. And when you do that, things should just start to move just a little bit like that see how that's starting to come loose along the top there there's another one right down below I gotta remember I got clips on the other side too so I'm gonna switch to the other side and get those rolling I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way here. I made a video last week and I got to this part and I just started getting in the way of my shot and there was just really nothing to see. So, all right, I'm going to pull the blade out and I'm just going to gently pull this loose. Those pressure clips in there, you'll, you'll feel the pressure clips when they come loose. They kind of have a thud to them when they release. There we go. Pulled it out. 
no tools required. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tape measure. I'm going to show you exactly where these clips are. That way if you are pulling these out of your Sereno, you'll have an idea before you even start jamming metal into those little spaces there exactly where you're supposed to go. So here is a close-up shot of that uh, control unit pulled out there. And what we have is the tabs I was talking about. Those are located right here and right down here. Now you may be asking yourself, uh, there seems to be a tab missing down at the bottom. And that's because I broke it when I pulled it out the first time because I didn't know where those, those were located. So hopefully this video will prevent you from doing that with yours. But what you need to know is that the approximate location of those guys is about... Let's see there, about a half inch, half inch down for the first one, and the second one is just about uh, two, what do we got there, about two and an eighth, got a little glare on the tape, between two and an eighth, two and an eighth and then a two and a quarter, right in that range. So if you know where to slide your blade or whatever you're using to kind of shim those loose, if you know the approximate location, it'll make it a lot easier to get those out. So to continue removing this section right here, I'm going to want to remove the electrical connectors on the top. And then we have the cigarette lighter power adapters down here. Take those off. And then this last guy here, I've ac actually kind of cheated and brought it loose a little bit already just for expediency but there's a tab right in the back here you want to press down on that and pull up and that'll come out and that's how that piece comes off all right so the next thing we're going to want to do is take off this trim around the outside now this trim goes all the way up around here it's one complete piece to break that loose what you need to do so we have a screw right here and then on the other side, we have a screw right there. Take those two out, and then the rest of this will come loose. And this just comes off kind of like how the, the shifter trim did. Just pull straight out. You're going to hear those tabs come loose. Nice and gentle. Forceful but gentle. Comes off nice and easy. that's coming out I'm just going to set that off to the side so one piece of advice that I'd recommend is that at this point you take your shifter knob and you pop it back onto the, the shifter there just to protect that top piece when you pull out your stereo it's going to have a tendency to um, fall forward and if you don't have something on top of this little metal piece right here the uh, likelihood is that you're going to scratch up your stereo when it comes down it rests against that. Now to remove the rest of it, all you need to do is pull this screw out right here. There's one. And there's another one on the other side. Alright, now even though this is coming loose here, you really don't need to pull the whole thing out. All you need to do is just kind of bring that forward a little bit because there's a clip right behind here that actually holds the stereo in. All right. So hopefully that helps you out. The very first time I did this, it took me three hours. The next time I did it, took me 10 minutes. If you know where to look, it makes things really, really easy. Alright. And 
that's it. Away we go. This is Dan, signing out. Peace.